The bar at Docksiders Monday night in the Barefoot Resort area of North Myrtle Beach is fairly empty. Partially because it's early, also maybe because tourist season is over for the year. But the manager is worried that even fewer people will be in the seats come November. It's going to have a great effect. You know, daily traffic numbers coming across that bridge to supply the business for our restaurant and the golf courses are in the thousands. He's talking about the Barefoot Bridge. The structure that links the front of Barefoot Resort to Highway 17 is covered with peeling lead paint. It's toxic, so it needs to be fixed. Last winter, the Barefoot residents and businesses asked the city to postpone the work, so they did. Now when work starts in two months, it would shut down the bridge to traffic for up to a month and a half. Now all of a sudden the time has come, and of course they want to move it again. Uh, that's not possible. It needs to be done. We have a bid that's $907,000, which is very low, uh, and we've just got to move forward. Last week, more than 100 people lobbied city staff and council. This time around at Monday's regular council meeting, there were many more empty chairs. The bridge wasn't on any agenda, but a few worried people still spoke out. As for Brandon Brookshire at Docksiders, he's passed the meetings. Now it's about letting his customers know the new route, a 15-mile detour around the swing bridge and to his business. We're trying to do all we can, like tonight, spread the word about the alternative entrance into the property.